Miss Huxables. I'm coming to you today to show you my hair post workout. One of my lovely viewers commented on one of my uh, videos that she loves to see how my hair looks when I'm done working out. How do I deal with my hair after workouts? And um, I've been wanting to make this video for a while. I've been trying to find the time to film it and try to see how I was going to explain it. So I'm just going to go for it. We'll see what happens. So I just got done just literally walking the door from training jujitsu. I train from 12 to 3, so about 3 hours, um, and I sweat. <sighs> so this is the, and I know I, it really bothers me when people say like, oh, you know, you're discouraging people from going natural, or you're, you're trying to detour people from making the decision to go natural, and I'm like, how am I doing that by being honest about my experience and telling people truthfully some of the obstacles or difficulties that I face? I'm just being honest. So with my hair... And sweating the way that I do, you know, every Sunday I typically try to train and I'll train for three hours because it's a time when I'm off work. I get a lot of time to go in the gym and stay there. What happens is especially when my hair is straight. So this is also part of the problem with me doing length checks and, and doing vitamin reviews. Well, to put heat on my hair is pointless because all it takes is one time of me going to practice. And this is how my hair looks at the root. So... I'll try to, I just really want to show you guys so you see, um, you know, all of this pretty much frizzes up. So all of this is frizzy around the root area. Um, this curl pattern here is frizzy and curled up all the way around all of the root area. So I have a good, you know, two inches or so of this which has gotten poofy and not straight anymore. That's all the way around. So I have all the volume and thickness of that then what I have is that's a whole little style going on up there then I have the ends which sorry I have on black training top but the ends are still pretty much you know perfectly straight so all of this is straight and looks fine I could wrap it and move on all of this has blown up difficulty with this I don't want to put heat on my hair again. First off, my hair is still damp to the touch. And all of this, you know, is extremely thick and tightly curled. All of this in the back is really tight. I don't want to put heat on my hair because it's still wet. So what I would have to do is apply a blow dryer to this again, putting more heat on it. Flat iron it again, even if I did one pass with the flat iron, putting more heat on it to get it to match. And I have to wait for this to pretty much dry so that I'm not putting more heat to get it dry again because all of this is wet now all this in the back especially is really really thick I can't even run my hand through it it's very very thick and textured which like you guys know I don't believe in putting heat on my hair more than like twice a month and even that is pushing it so I don't want to keep putting heat on my hair all the time but when it's in this state like this I really can't do much with it if I try to pull it up in a ponytail or pull it into a thing it looks weird because all of this we know how we feel about our edges is poofy and no longer straight so then the ponytail will look semi straight and then all of this is a poof ball so that doesn't really work and it creates a lot of lumps in the ponytail because all of this is really thick um if I try to do styles like the really pretty styles of like doing a two strand twist into a bun or something it looks odd because once again all this hair has a lot of volume and then this hair is straight so it looks weird. Um, so typically I mean what I'll end up doing is just washing it and doing a wash and go and putting it on top of my hair in a big bun like I did in the video when I showed you guys tying with the African cloth because it's almost like you're starting back at zero and without putting heat on your hair again it's very difficult to style it. So, I'm working through this on camera because I just want people to understand. I think sometimes people want me to take more pictures or make more videos or do things, but I think the reality, at least for me and my lifestyle, is that that's not realistic. You know, even the pictures of the perfect twist outs, the perfect wash and goes, or the perfect this and that is not real. And especially for my lifestyle, that's my hair you know that's what it means to be natural that's my hair in its natural state when it's wet you know it's designed to keep my head cool coils curls are designed to keep the scalp the head cool 
And so that's what my hair is going to do. I can't avoid it. Like you're going to sweat <laughs> working out. And so even if I did a really pretty twist out or something, it's going to get all discombobulated and look a mess and be curly back at the root. So it's very difficult like even right now I'm just tempted to get in the shower and just wash it and wear a wash and go and then I also don't have the time to keep braiding it for braid outs or twist outs waiting for it to dry I have to work tomorrow so if I go to sleep with my hair when it's damp I'm in a building that's you know in this transition period between going into cold weather uh, the heat's not on yet so it's cold and I'm sitting there freezing in my workplace and my hair is wet which makes you get sick. So there's just a lot of real life factors. I feel like nobody talks about the real life factor, you know, or I'm a mom, I'm not a mom, but I'm saying if I were a mom and I, had, I have to do my baby's, baby girl's hair, I have to get make dinner for my family or do the dishes, do the laundry, get ready for the week. Like there's a lot of things and responsibilities that we as women have. And sometimes hair can just not be a number one priority. So this is the reality. You know, this isn't really cute. I don't like this look. It's not really what's up, but it's the reality. And to keep putting heat on my hair all the time to battle the reality is pointless. And even for my vitamins, so like I'm taking the main metabolism, I guess maybe it's been a week or so now. But to keep putting heat on it every month when I know I'm just going to go into the gym and ruin it. So it's almost like I need a special occasion or something where I feel like I'm going to get my time's worth for straightening it because it's just going to get ruined. So it almost makes me feel like there's no point half the time to straighten it because it's gonna look like this which at this point it's a half and half it looks a hot mess to me like this is half poof half straight half, it just put it in a bun curly because it just looks a mess and I don't want to keep putting heat on it and if you do or if you are one of those people that's like okay I'll just flat iron this again you're gonna damage your hair and then you're not gonna have any curl pattern they're not gonna be able to wear it curly or you know it's just it's very difficult and I also want to you know for those women out there, there's a lot of women on YouTube that have really long hair that have relaxers. There's a lot of women out there that have really long hair that are natural. But a lot of the women that I know that have long hair that live fit lifestyles, it's a constant... I don't, I don't want to say struggle because that has negative connotations, but you constantly are having to find ways, to, you know, whether it's wearing your hair in just two braids, which isn't maybe that cute or sexy, or I'm not going to photo op on Instagram me with two pigtails. That's not hot, but it's the reality. And so I just want people to understand, you know, keep it real. Like I can do a really pretty twist out or take a picture in my car on a perfect day, but that's not how my hair looks a majority of the time and I'm not willing to sell people a dream that encourages them to compromise or um, cut back on li living healthy you know and I feel like so many times we will forego things that are healthy or good for us for our hair whether that be you know uh, buying cheap foods buying foods that aren't um, organic or good for us because we're saving money for a sewing and saving money for weave or you know we will not walk up the stairs at our workplace or we won't you know work out at all because we don't want to sweat out our hair that we just paid to get done or we don't we will sacrifice our physical health we will sacrifice you know our uh, bodies for our hair to look nice all the time and the grand scheme of things is just something's you know you really have to critically think about that something's not quite right and a society that encourages that a society that doesn't accept reality and you know I love the natural hair sites and I love promoting um positive and affirming and beautiful pictures of naturals but I just feel like even when I went natural at at Howard it became then within the natural community a, a new form of self-hatred within natural curly girls so now if you're if your twist out wasn't perfect if your braid out wasn't perfect if your texture wasn't perfect now I'm going to have self-hate and hatred against my sisters within the natural hair community so now we're just putting up these pictures that are supposed to be affirming and validating and make us feel free to be natural to compare the fact that my curl pattern doesn't look like hers to, to compare the fact that my curls don't look that perfect because honestly when you're being real living sweating natural working out you know staying fit natural that's really natural <laughs> it's not gonna look perfect so I just you know this looks a hot mess no makeup I need to go to dinner out to dinner in a couple hours so I guess I'm just and once again a time constraint like and so now I don't have time to put my hair in braids let that dry and then take it out to have the perfect 
braid out right now. I don't have time for that. So it's going to be a hop in the shower, re-wet it all. Because at this point, there's not, I can't even really wrap it or do anything. So I'm just going to have to re-wet it all. And luckily, the weather, it's a mild day today. And tomorrow, it's supposed to be in the 60s for November. So I don't mind if it's a little damp. But if it's 30 degrees tomorrow, that's an issue. And... um I will share one tip or trick if it's not too, too wet. What I will do is take an oil. I will take um, coconut oil or I'll take my product that I make like a mixture of um, shea and coconut and let's just say grapeseed oil or something. And I will smooth that on, the, let it kind of air dry a little bit, then gently comb through it with a white tooth comb. I will smooth that oil, not on the scalp, but on the areas that have gotten damp like this. And then I will slowly try to, you know, bring it around to wrap it and, and wrap and tie it really tightly. And typically it will not make it perfectly straight again. Your, your blow dryer flat iron is pretty much shot at that point in terms of being perfect or looking fresh. But it will kind of relax those hairs again and allow them to be not as, um, not as thick or kinky as when they were wet. But that's another thing that's the reality. I have to accept this is what my hair did. So whether it's me wearing my hair in a low bun or just, you know, trying not to gel the heck out of my edges to get them perfectly straight again, accepting that that's just how they look, you know? And it's gonna be another two weeks or three weeks before my hair is perfectly straight again and I have to roll with it. And it's an acceptance of the fact that it's going to be imperfect. And people don't want to hear that, <laughs> but that's the truth. That's the reality. It's an acceptance of the imperfection or flawed, all quotations around these words, state of my hair and accepting it and not fighting it, not fighting what my hair wants to do. And that's how you get to long hair. And unfortunately, also, when I'm constantly wearing my hair natural or curly then when it comes time to straighten I have lots of knots I have lots of splits like it's a constant uh, negotiation also between determining when I'm going to put heat on it when I'm going to kind of go through and dust or look for you know splits and keeping it moisturized so there's all these things sorry I'm seeing one right now there's all these things that I'm constantly you know having to think through and juggle and it's hard to retain length um it's difficult so I know that was kind of a rant but I just wanted to have a, a free and honest flow of thoughts. And I know that I know for a fact that there are so many women out there that go to work out and they come home feeling self-conscious. They come home feeling frustrated. They come home feeling defeated because they feel like they have to sacrifice their beauty. They feel like they have to sacrifice their hair in order to take control of their bodies, in order to feel healthy, in order to feel good about themselves. And you should not have to feel that way. And you certainly should not have to feel alone. You certainly should not have to feel like you're the only person going through this or you're the only person experiencing this. You should, certainly shouldn't have to walk through the door after a great workout, after you've pushed yourself mentally and physically to be your best and have to scroll through Instagram you're going to look at pictures of people with perfect makeup and perfect curls and perfect twist outs and perfect wash and goes and then feel like damn I, my hair looks a mess sorry for cursing but you know feel like oh I'm you know her hair I, dang I'm just not gonna work out anymore because that's typically the verdict you forego or you'll sacrifice or give up staying fit working out doing things to better your body over hair and I'm just here to let you know if I'm the only other person you know or the only other person that encourages you that's not a good look so um let me know, comment below. I I, I, mean, I think people sometimes want me to give styles or solutions, like these magical solutions or potions that are gonna fix that, but it's the reality is your hair sweats, your scalp sweats to cool your head, and it creates the hair reverting back because of the wetness to a curl. I, I, can't, I don't have a magical potion or thing to make that not happen. That's what happens. So. Um, just be encouraged, be inspired, accept that your hair does what it does. That's what it was designed to do. It's powerful, it's strong, and it's beautiful. And embrace who you are. And to anyone that has a problem with that, keep it moving. So I wish you long life. I wish you energy. I wish you happiness. I wish you um, strength. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.